so Chris LeBron doesn't feel like he's yet in his prime but uh, how much longer do you feel like he has left well of first prime of all years? let me let me give a big shout out to LeBron James I mean what he's doing with this school it's just tremendous I actually think he is laying a new blueprint for what modern day African American athletes could do to help the community. So big congratulations to him. I know he's proud of this moment. I'm proud of him. That's that's a tremendous thing he's doing. So as far as basketball, uh, LeBron already is doing stuff that's unprecedented. You know, for a guy to, some would say, had his best offensive season ever in his 15th year, we all acknowledge, I believe you believe, he's still the best player in the world. You think Kevin Durant, right? Yeah, I would, I would Do say, we? I would say but Kevin Durant. Yeah. I mean, I'm, in I'm, the I mean, conver- that's a whole other conversation. Yeah, but. Being in the conversation yeah. and regarded by most as still the best player in the world in his 15th, entering his 16th season, that that's incredible. I'm so he, he's already deni- you know, denying father time a little bit and all that. I'm going, when you look back at some guys, Carl Malone was an Iron Man, uh, Kobe Bryant was an Iron Man. Kobe Bryant, I believe, was still in his prime, if you look at his numbers, in his 17th year. His 17th year, Kobe averaged uh, 25 points, uh, shot 46% from the floor, um, 27 points, I'm sorry, six assists, almost six rebounds a game. 46%, that was one of Kobe's best shooting performances of his career in his 17th year. LeBron has even been more physically, you know, healthy than Kobe. He works just as hard. May, we know he spends, what, a million and a half dollars a year on his body. So I'm going to give him at least the next three, I think at least the next two years as a top three player. So I'm going to say next three years, so third year of this contract, he's still a top five player. And I think in his fourth year of this contract, his last year, you'll begin to see some noticeable decline. But he'll still be an elite player, maybe top 10, somewhere around there. But I think he's got three strong years as, as a top five player left. I still, I'm, I'm still struggling with the glare I got from Sarah. But when I said I, I think Kevin Durant might be the best player in, in the league, she's <laughs> like, really? I'd heard really? it before, I, so I let it go. No, no, I'm, no, not, well, ready. I'm I, not ready I, I for have, that yet. Well, I, I have, I've seen the NBA Finals the last two years and matching up. He didn't, LeBron didn't guard him as much, but I thought Durant is, in fact, better, even if I, I was blown away. He got a little more help. Well, sure. A little bit. But it's a really hard measurement yeah. because when Durant didn't have as much help early in the playoffs without Steph Curry, he, was, he, he wasn't as profound in terms of the, the overall points, but he took over a game in a different way. And I do think that LeBron gets a little bit of a pass for the fact that he's gotten smarter defensively. He's not doing as much. He's taking yes. more plays off. Yes. So that, that instead true. of getting into an argument over yeah. who's the best player, let's just talk about LeBron and his prime. It is unprecedented. We do the 15 years in a row, and the reason you can't match it up with Jordan is Jordan went to college for three years, right? And then Jordan took a year and a half off to play baseball. Yeah. So he's had this unbelievable run. He's also never been hurt. You mentioned Kobe, the five or six knee surgeries, yeah. then of course the Achilles injury. Uh, Jordan had the early injury to, to his foot in second year. But if you compare in terms of age, right? In terms of age with, with Michael Jordan, Jordan, when his last year with the Bulls, which for me, I don't even pretend the Wizards. The Wizards was I was just trying to prove that I could still play, yeah, yeah, which yeah. he proved which he, he still, did. At he could still play old, after taking a couple years. He was a legitimate All Star. Correct. So um, I look at it and I think, all right, what's reasonable? What's reasonable is what Jordan did, which is he averaged twenty eight a game. He wasn't as he wasn't maybe. You're talking about just for this year. Yeah. Okay. So for for this year, I I, th- I think he's going to be he's he's learned to be more efficient. He's learned to pick his spots. I think that one of the things you can see with this Lakers roster is he's formulating a way in which at times he'll play the small ball five, which is what he did at times against the Warriors yeah. in the finals. It allows him to guard, frankly, inferior players. You can tell me whatever you want about Draymond Green, but Draymond Green is not Kevin Durant. And if you're LeBron James, you can slough off of, of Draymond Green. You can slough off of, of some of these small ball fives. 
and catch your breath and be a help side defender, as well as at the offensive end, you have a mismatch. You're guarding guys that are converted power forwards, yep. and they're yep. trying to guard one of the greatest players to ever play the game, if not the greatest player to ever play the game, depending on where you sit in that debate. So I think he's getting smarter. I think he's using footwork better. I think he is going to play some out of the post so he doesn't have to dominate the ball. He doesn't have to show his explosiveness. <clears throat> I think he's got a good three years. I think the fourth okay. year is not going to be. I think the fourth year is not going to be great. I think a lot of it is going to come down to who he surrounds himself with. But the, the most important thing to remember with LeBron is he is a student of the game and he understands that. It didn't work with Kobe. You can't be the scorer as you get older. That doesn't age that well. you got to depend upon others and pick your spots. And if you look at the numbers, he's become more efficient, not because he's truly always better. Some of it is the rules of the game. Some of it is spacing out the court, taking the centers and power forwards away from the yeah, game. Yeah, but yeah. some of it is also the fact that he understands how to pace himself. And so even though he played 82 games, he didn't practice. He didn't exhaust himself. This year, I don't think he plays 82 games. I think he plays in the 70s or so. I think he'll limit his practice time. I think he'll take plays off defensively. So statistically, there won't be the drop-off. And I don't think in year four it's going to be... Remember Jason Kidd in his last run in the playoffs when he couldn't make a layup? No, Like, no, I don't no, think we're going to no, see... No, no, he's no, not going no, off a no. cliff, but I think you're going to see a gradual decline in athleticism. And as long as he doesn't get hurt, I think his style of play, which he wants to make others better, I think has a longer staying power than other superstars stars of his elf. Well, well his three-point shot shooting is getting better. Last year, surprisingly, he ran the floor really well. I mean, he got out on the break, and if he still wants to do that, he can certainly do that with Lonzo Ball and Rondo and guys like that. So uh, I'm with you. I actually think he's going to play past this contract. I don't think this will be his final contract. So I think, like you said, year four, he's coming down a little bit, but I could see him playing a fifth year as well. So, let me ask you, okay? You cover the you cover the Eastern Conference, right? I mean, there is a there's a little bit of a difference athletically, but it, there's a there's the sports continuum, right? Your basketball IQ is to this side. When you start, you have your uh, athletic yes. ability. He's not Peyton Manning at the end, right? Where Peyton Manning couldn't throw a football. Not even close to yeah. it. But but he is but athletically he's not the same as he was a couple he, years he ago. But he he has some no, I mean, you I don't know if you had that picking Brooklyn his game. spots. Uh, uh, absolutely. He had that dunk over like three people. Which is insane. But yeah. that's him picking a spot. I think there was some tracking data that came out, and he laughed at it, as he should have, but tracking data that came out throughout the course of the season saying he was one of it, and it was a certain group with numbers, but he ran the least amount of miles or were covered yes. as much. No, it's However, it's to your point, it's a savviness and understanding yes, of when yes. to run or what to do. What I'm curious to see with the Lakers is do they actually stylistically – change how they do we, we've seen LeBron surrounded by shooters him being the playmaker him with the ball in his hands so much with what they put together with the roster with the different players with guys who can create for himself do they change how he plays they does, have, I mean does not he play built, out of the post more they're does not built he, to play that way with uh, him uh, handling the but, ball 70 percent of the time and shooters around they don't have the shooters to put around him no, like but that. that is where he thrives. So I I how, how do they the change that? And that the roster he's, may change. I mean, he's – the, the guys, look, don't think the Lakers just brought in Lance Stevenson, Rajon Rondo, and Jav all these guys without LeBron's blessing. I actually think LeBron pointed out many of these guys. So yes. he, he is looking at playing a different type of way, too. There was talk, and I'll talk to people close to him, when he was thinking about going to Philadelphia – Okay, with Ben Simmons, I'll play more off the ball. I think he feels, you know, Lonzo's not Ben Simmons, but he is a smart, high IQ player who I think LeBron would trust to make some of the right plays. So I think, I expect, and as he gets older, he should be off the ball more. He'll, that'll make him more efficient. He could be dynamic in the post with the lack of, of great post defenders in the game today. He'd usually have a smaller man on him if he goes down there with his court vision passing ability. He could really be devastating in the post. So I think you'll see him playing a different type of game, still handling the ball, of course, but I think he'll be off it more. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just say this. Uh, everyone says, well, you play out of the post, and he obviously showed his ability to hit that fadeaway jump shot time and again yeah. in the playoffs. And some of that's the influence of Kobe Bryant. They become actually really close And that. Kobe has said, hey, look at Mike. He 
played out of the post, I played out of the post. It's a way to be efficient and to use all the all the skills that you have. The one thing is his footwork is not what no. their footwork no. was. And that's an old dog, new tricks. It's really, really hard. I don't think he'll ever be great out of that post. But the difference is, and this can't be pointed out enough, is that the game has changed so much, you're not going against traditional he can post players. Bully guys Correct. Down there. Yeah, he Correct. You can still play bully play guys. bully ball. And it's gonna be interesting to see how he adjust his body. Does he play lighter? Does he stay heavy? I think all of these things are fa fascinating. It's as interesting to watch as the overall win total with the Lakers. And, and thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from First Things First or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.